Yo, what is going on my YouTube people? This is Gavin Acity here again with you for another video and today I have a little bit more of a discussion type video with the topic being ping abuse. Now this is something you will definitely notice a lot more when playing Rainbow Six Siege on PC versus console. However, there are certain situations where you might go up against somebody with high ping and it can be very frustrating and potentially lead you to losing the match. So when it comes to Siege on PC, you can go into the game files and change your data center, which is something you cannot do on console. And this allows you to go and play on other servers. So if you're from NA, you can go and solo queue on EU, vice versa. And I don't have so much of a problem with people who want to play with friends that are from different parts of the world. That's something I understand happens. Personally, I would prefer people who want to play with friends like that go and play on casual where it's not as competitive. The big issue I have is when a five-man team or four people go and change their data center so they're all playing on NA or they're all playing on EU something like that and then they just have these really high pings in the 180 range to almost 300 and they get this crazy peekers advantage due to the way the network is set up for Siege. This game is notorious for you getting shot behind walls or somebody coming around the corner and them kill you before you can even see them. And with these exaggerated ping differences, it feels almost game breaking. Now, when somebody does have high ping, it doesn't mean that you're automatically going to lose the game and I'm not complaining in that sort of way. But there will be certain instances in that game where you're just going to get completely cheated and it's very unfair because that person has very high ping. Now I guess one of the counters to somebody playing on servers that are giving them the higher ping would just to be play very aggressive. You want to be the one to peek them first. But it's not ideal. You're not always going to have a situation where you're going to know exactly where the enemy is and you're going to be able to peek around and take them out. There might be a few times where you're either trying to just hold the objective down and you can't really hold an angle because if the enemy knows where you are, they're just going to be able to pre-fire you and kill you before you even get the opportunity to see them. So one specific situation where this happened to me last week was there was a group of five guys on the other team that were in a party. We were playing ranked. And four of them were from Brazil, while one of them was from the U.S. Instead of the one U.S. guy playing on the Brazilian servers where he would have the higher ping and potentially an advantage, the four Brazilian guys played on the NA servers, creating four people that have very high ping and an incredibly frustrating game. I will say that if somebody isn't really all that good or they don't really take advantage of that high ping and play aggressively, the high ping won't really help them out as much. It's really when somebody's playing aggressive, they'll play a three speed like Ash or Jaeger and just quick peek corners moving back and forth and just taking shots before you can even see them. Now on console there are situations like I said before where this would happen and it's not really all that much the player's fault as it is the servers and what time of day that you're playing. So I'm not really blaming anybody for this but you will have some very unpleasant games when it's very late at night maybe like 3 in the morning and there aren't very many people playing on the servers at that time so you might get matched up with somebody who is either from the EU or most likely Brazil and you will have these crazy ping differences with the NA teams having around 80 to 60 ping and then the people playing from other servers can have up to 280 ping which is just absolutely crazy to me because the way this game works that is almost unplayable it just kind of breaks the game and when you shoot at somebody the hit detection might happen what feels like one or two seconds after you take that shot so when it comes to consoles it's not something that's so much into player control so I'm not really blaming any players for that it's just kind of how the servers work and I don't know if there's anything that they can do to make the matchmaking a little bit better so that happens less frequently or hopefully not at all. That is kind of where I pass the question off to you guys, at least in the PC community. How often do you guys find ping abuse being a problem? And I mean something more than just like one guy who wants to play with his friend who has high ping, but people who intentionally will change their data centers so they will have that high ping advantage and be able to just kind of get out these cheesy wins. Also, what do you guys think should happen to people who are intentionally ping abusing? Should they just get kicked from that game when the ping goes above maybe 150 or something like that? Or should they get some sort of timeout? I would definitely love to hear what you guys think down in the comments. I've been finding this to be more and more of a problem the more I start playing on PC, and it can be quite frustrating. And kind of that little story I told earlier where that team had four guys playing from Brazil and one guy on the NA servers, we ended up playing them twice in a row the first game we played them found out that they were using the high pings we ended up beating them and we were having a hard time finding a game and what happened was they all went and changed their names 
and we ended up rematching the same guys a second time. And the reason behind changing their names on Uplay was just because they didn't want people dodging because they knew that they were playing while using a different data center. And I think that would definitely be a justified reason to dodge a team like that. You don't want to go up and have this unpleasant experience where the pings don't match up, you get cheated and possibly lose a round or even the entire game. Personally, I don't really know what the solution should be to this type of problem, and there might be a good reason for you to be able to change your data center on PC, and I don't really know how I feel about you being able to change your data center globally. Maybe just be able to change the data center in certain parts of like the NA servers or EU servers rather than just going all the way to the NA servers or all the way to the EU servers and having that ping advantage. I just get really frustrated with the people that intentionally go and change their data centers to have that advantage. Again, it is different and I kinda understand it when you wanna play with some of your friends, but I would just say go and stick to casual or something like that. I know ranked is not ESL by any means and it's not, you know, this crazy competitive game mode, but people definitely want to take it a little bit more seriously than they do with casual, so it can be very, very frustrating if you lose a ranked game due to this reason. But with that said, that will pretty much wrap up this video and I guess kind of a little bit of a rant. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. Again, feel free to comment down below what you guys think about this situation. I want to make this like a discussion type video. So I want to know what your guys' thoughts are, whether or not you should be able to change your data center, whether you think ping abuse is really that much of an issue in the first place, or just any thoughts that you guys have overall. Lastly, if you are new, do not be afraid to hit that subscribe button. And as usual, you guys have a good one. Peace.